In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a functional dashboard in Figma. And this is not just a UI, this is actual code. And as you can see, I am able to click on these, write things. Then let's see, I'm adding new tasks. I can actually add new tasks and do all this. So this is not a prototype, this is not a UI. We're actually going to be building this using um, code. And as you can see, this is our code and this is everything we use to build our tax and to do this so to do this over here using as an example so stay back and enjoy and watch the process of using figma to build real apps and also use it to brainstorm your app ideas the first thing that we have to do is we have to click on figma make and as it's loading figma make can be used for let's say brainstorming if you don't have an idea about what you have look like but you have your functionalities and everything we can actually use Figma Make to bring your idea to life. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to put in the prompt here. We have to click on this and we are going to wait for the magic. So it's going to be thinking and it's going to be thinking about, you know, what this thing is about. It's going to bring up ideas and some things. It's going to we call it reasoning. So he's going to bring out something say, I would create a clean notion inspired list app, to do list app with the following features, clean, Input feed, tax list display, delete functionality, responsive design, and using um, Shadek components for publish UI. So let's see what this is going to give us. Yes, it's going to take a while. So I'm going to probably skip to that. But well, I think it's done. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so this is our to do list. That was fast, not going to lie. So we're going to create um, a to-do list. Let's see, um, task, um, check on my cat. I wish I could have a cat. Check on my cat. So, okay. So this is a beer bone to-do list app, right? Nothing like timer, nothing like um, time, nothing like reminders. So we're going to up it a little bit. We are going to tell it to add date and time, right? So add date and time when, let's say add date and time when adding a list. So no matter if, if you are not into creating apps, right? With this, you'll be able to come up with ideas with, so I'm just using this as a layman, like someone that doesn't know much about apps and don't even know what to do or don't know what this idea is about, right? So I am imputing the data just like that without even PRD and everything. But if you have a PRD and everything, it is very good. But sometimes you start small, so it is not overly um, complicated. So this is the preview. This is the code. You can see if you want to, you know, see what the code looks like and everything, you can actually do that. So now let's see if there's any improvements. Check on my cards. Let's see. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. It added time and date, but I need to tell it, I need to prompt it to allow user set time and date. Let's see if that works. So like I was saying, this is code based. It can allow you to see what is going on in the back end and see whatever it's doing and you can, you know, go through it. So let's see what it gives to us. So now it's saying I will update the to -do list to allow users to set custom date and time when adding tags this would involve adding dates and time input feeds to the tax pin using um calendar sorry i can't pronounce this i'm trying to not pronounce it wrong so let's see if it has done that to our to-do list okay so let's add set custom time my cats let's just write my cats it's so the custom time is here but the custom time should not be here actually. So, and that really found the problem. So let me just write fix for me. So the custom time isn't supposed to be on that particular place. So now one thing with Figma make, you can 
keep prompting it to fix you know things and you have to be very specific so if you are not specific with what you want you might so if for example i told you that when you click on the plus icon before adding the to-do list it should be able to add time and dates you get so that would make it understand it more and give us a much much better um experience okay so let's try it again my cuts so it added it but so it has custom time so now so now let's give it an elaborate prompt and see what we can do with that so if i click on here i will try to say okay here is the flow here is the flow so we're going to use this so here is the flow the user adds title to tags and when he clicks on the plus button a pop-up time and date shows before the to-do list is created so let us try to use this prompt and see if it listens to me and fixes what the problem is okay so it has come back with a different thing entirely so now let's see if it actually did what we wanted so i'm going to put here my cards then i'm going to click on this better you see it actually listens to my prompt then i'm going to put a date i am going to put now this is this is the time i'm recording and create tax isn't this more comprehensive right so we can keep tweaking these we can put reminders we can put pages we keep adding to this guy so we can even tell it yes it's actually saying fix warning so let's fix it as um talking so we can even tell it to like okay i need a menu bar where i have a profile page i have this i have that and the good thing is we can actually switch to different modes or views to see what the app looks like on mobile view or whatever view it's supposed to be in so this is actually very great so let's see um the fixes and let's try one more prompt before we try to use a ui real figma ui to bring it to life okay so after it's done it just fixed some bugs and some other things so like let's see if we can add um menu to it so to it so i may not tell it what to add but let us see what it could do okay so we're not very direct is what we wanted it to fix so we actually he actually did this menu so i don't know why he did this so we have them um, sort by date, sort by alphabetical order, and this is actually good. And we can actually search tags, right? So it did it how best it understood our prompt, and this is actually a good thing. And like I was saying, mobile, we can actually see what it will look like mobile. So it's putting mobile responsiveness into consideration, right? And it's actually very, very, very good. And we can actually choose what kind of... Um, phone that we're actually seeing from here so this is actually a very um, good one and we can keep if you have the time you can keep prompting these trying it and see what you can actually um, do with it so the next thing we're going to try is we're going to try building one with actually a um a figma file right we're going to pick a figma existing figma file something like this and tell it to build it Let's just see how tough it can do that. So now we're going to copy this. We're going to click on new. We're going to come here to click on this. And we're going to tell it to build this. And if it can't do this, that's going to be crazy. Let's do this. So we're going to paste this here. So note, I copied this from, you can actually get this from the Figma community, right? So you can search to do this dashboard. So it's actually loading and let's see what comes out of it. Okay, so it has imported we're going to just tell it build this okay so our ui is built and this is what we have here so i don't know if this is functional and due to this amount of space that we have we cannot actually click or see but what we're going to do is we're going to click on this so this is a way to almost like view what you have done in a more you know, larger screen without this board on the left hand side disturbing what you are doing so this is the board and let's go back to our ui right because we actually used this ui so let's zoom in right so as we could see we have these drop downs we have this menu 
we have so many things around here right and we have this ui here so because of the ui doesn't really have what to do here right it may not be able to give you what you want and it did not actually do you know the whole menu drop down stuff and it's not really that bad right so but the thing is the good thing is we can actually add to this make this functional and try adding things to the and build from here the good thing is it's able to transform your design into a real dashboard highest is just for you to work on your um, buttons and the, with the right prompt you can prompt this to be very very functional take for example now we don't know how our add new template is going to look like right so we can come here and say okay tap here when you click on this button there should be a pop-up to add a new template okay so let's test this and see what it's going to do because let's assume we just copy this ui from the internet which we did and we are trying to like build from here so let's see if this is going to work okay so now the prompt is done and we're actually going to check if it works so i'm going to use this since this is more you know larger and we could see whatever we want to do so now if i click on the add new you could see that a prompt came into adding new template and there's categories there's description and i can make it more functional right and you could do it two time but it actually came up so you can see that it's actually for everything here is kind of functional and if i click on create okay, let me put a few you could even see it has an error message so let's just say i just call this design then i click on create you it's create but it's not going to you know fill in here because this is just um you know a new thing so we can actually keep prompting this to be highly functional from just a design template we can even look for an empty state to a full state and everything so using figma to you know think brainstorm about an idea brainstorm an app it's like you looking into the future and you designing it or designing it and bringing it to life or functionalities and you know telling the client okay this is how it's going to click this is not the real thing because you have to clear them on that that is not the real thing this is just a process and this is how it's going to feel operate and it's going to be a very 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 good experience right so you can play around this and it's actually a, it comes with the professional seats so it's actually paid so and this should not be on you it's supposed to be on your clients right so if you're building a job for a client you can actually build this into it and except you don't currently have a client and you want to just test run it by yourself yeah you just have to spend that to 20 dollars on it so if you have any question and want us to do more of this leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe and watch the rest of our videos and don't forget to also suggest other videos that you would like us to do bye for now